There's a way better method to build your Framer CMS. And in this video, we're going to dive deep into Framer's new release of references and multi-references within the Framer CMS. I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it and when to use it. Let's go. Okay, so here's a new site that I'm building inside of Framer. And essentially it's a bit of a directory website with a bunch of different articles and content. So in here, I actually have a news page where I've got a collection list here with a bunch of content. Uh, and I've got a news tab in here as well. Uh, and under this is the collection items. So you can just see a few articles that I've got going on here. Now, one of the most frustrating things that I've always had to do with the Framer CMS is repeat a lot of content when it comes to fields that we tend to reuse over and over again that have very similar content. A great example of this is wanting to add an author to your blog post and you wanna show their profile picture, their name and their title. And you've got a collection of these things that you want to use in not only one article, but another article or multiple articles. So this is where the new multi-reference feature can come into play. So what we can do is go into the Framer CMS and we're actually gonna create a new collection here and we're gonna call this authors. So we're actually gonna set up a dedicated collection list for just my authors. And we'll use this as a bit of a source for all that content. So then in here, I'm just gonna create the content that's needed for each author. So let's just go in here and edit fields. So we'll have the name of the author. Let's delete the content. Let's add another field, which will be description or title. And let's also add one for profile picture. Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and just add some dummy content. So let's add myself, let's add my title and let's add a profile picture. Okay, let's add a couple more as well. Let's add John Doe, everyone's favorite. And let's just pull a uh, image from Unsplash here. Okay, great. And let's just add one more. Let's add Jane Lewis. Okay, great. So now we've got this collection or database, if you will, of all our authors. And I can add to this over time. Okay, so if I click on edit fields within my news collection now and go to add a new field, you notice we've got a couple of different options. We've got reference, and multi-reference, which like the name suggests, means we can reference content from another collection list within our CMS. So for example here, if I wanted to select a multi-reference, which means I can select multiple references from my Framer CMS, I can go and select my authors collection here, and you'll see we've created a new field. And then if I go into one of my items, so let's just choose this one here, you can now see I've got the ability to search up an author from my author's collection. So let's say I've just only got one author on this post, I would just include myself. But let's say if I wanted to have multiple authors, I could include them here as well. But for now, let's just leave it as an author, which is basically the same as just having one reference. Okay, so now let's go back to our canvas to our detail page here. And you'll notice that we've got the name, the title placeholder and the image placeholder as well. And now we can actually connect our content to that author's collection, even though it sits inside my news article collection for my blog content. So here I can just select the text and look for my little plus symbol and we'll set the variable here to be authors. And then I can select any of the text fields from inside that collection. And I think I used the wrong one here. Okay, perfect. And we can also set the title And let's set the profile picture as well. Now, if we go to another article here, you'll notice we haven't set up any content yet. So what we can do is go back to our CMS and we can set another author. So let's say this one is for Jane Lewis. And then if I go back to my canvas, you'll notice all the content now populates for Jane Lewis. Now, for example, if we didn't have an author, we can actually just hide this content completely. So what we're gonna do is actually select just this frame here, which is containing all of our assets. And what we're gonna do is we're going to look for the visible and we're gonna set a variable here for authors. And we're only gonna show it if the authors is set. Meaning if there's no content to pull from for the author, it's not gonna show at all. 
So here you can see it's showing because there's relevant content to show, but here because there's no author, we're not gonna show anything at all. And that's your quick crash course on references inside the Framer CMS. As you can probably tell, this can go quite far. And if this is the sort of content you guys want more of, I am more than happy to jump right into that for you. Just leave a comment below of what you think we should be building next inside the Framer CMS. And if you are interested in the website I was using in the video, this is framerplugins.io. It's just a community website that I built for all information on the brand new Framer plugins. But apart from that, I can't wait to see you in the next Framer tutorial. And until next time, I'll catch you later.